When we were young, many of us dreamed we'd go pro and play our favorite sport forever. Eventually, we all have to face the reality that's not possible. One brave seven-year-old knows her life and sports dream may change sooner than most, and she's got her eyes focused on soaking up every last moment she can. Corey Miller takes us to Troy, Missouri in this week's Odd Couples Housing Spotlight Story. Seven-year-old Hannah Bowles loves Taekwondo. Now I mean she really loves it. Out of a one to 10? Yeah, sure, out of a one to 10. A 10. And her favorite part? <laughs> the testing is because we get to break boards. She's been training with Infinity Athletics in Troy, Missouri for three years, coming up to four times a week, and has become a leader on the mat. Hannah has her sights set on competing in nationals in Las Vegas this year, along with thousands of other hopefuls around the country. But unlike those other hopefuls, getting there this particular year is uniquely important to Hannah, because it could be one of her last chances where she'll actually be able to see herself compete. We don't know when I will go blind, and I might. And it was a normal eye exam, it was just me and her there. And they go, we need to go get another doctor. And I'm like, okay. So they bring another doctor in. And those two start talking and they say, we need to go get another doctor. They bring in a third doctor and they're like, this is what, what, we, what we see. This is what she has. And we're pretty sure she's gonna be going blind. And it was just, at the time, it was, it was devastating. Hannah was diagnosed with an ocular dystrophy and could be blind by the time she's a teenager or even sooner. When you look at it on a piece of paper, we can see usually about the size of a basketball, looking at our peripherals and everything. She can see the size of a quarter. But this seven-year-old has faced her heavy diagnosis head on and has already started preparing herself for what the future might be like by learning braille, practicing with a cane, and just keeping a positive mindset. And she has been a miracle baby about it. If she sees someone and she accidentally bumps in them, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'll be going blind soon, so I'm learning my surroundings. I'm sorry. So she's got a great outlook on it. Now, the push is on to get Hannah to Nationals so she can live out her sports dream while she can still see it. With the news of her eyesight and with how imminent everything is, we're really trying to push this year to get her there just because we don't know what the future holds and, and how often, how many more times we might be able to get this. The Troy community has stepped up to help the Bulls family so far, and this determined young girl has her goal clearly in sight. Huge for us. It is huge. Um, we know that this is something that she might not get another chance at, and we want to make sure that she gets to experience everything that she can, including something that she loves. Out of a 1 to 10, I would really want to go. For Sports Plus in Troy, Corey Miller, 5 on your side sports. What a tough young lady. Thanks, Corey. To learn more about the Bulls' family fundraising efforts to get Hannah to Nationals, you can find this story on KSTK.com. We'll be right back.